Hello, residents of Maple Town. This is Dean, and today we are looking at Ocean's Light. This is the app version of Oceans by North Star Digital. And I'm just going to jump right into this. This is a game that, uh, if you keep up with our channel, know that John and I did a review of this back when the game re was released. But the uh, light version of Oceans is now available so that you can learn how to play this. Um, so the light is just the free version of the game. That's right. This game is free. Now, there is some, uh, there are, are some things that you can pick up um, along with the... Um, there we go. That's a uh, little intro screen. That's that's a more uh, that's a lame joke. Anyway, um, the uh, so we really like the the physical copy of this game. This game is released the free version, but then there is a uh, DLC that you can um, purchase for I believe it's ninety nine cents. Um, that gives you some cards, some extra player modes, uh, more difficult. AI, um, you can do the pass and play, um, so it's it's worth it to pick up. I mean, 99 cents is nothing, but even if you know just checking out the game for free is is really good. Okay, so what happens first is we are going to be playing cards and we're going to be needing to feed the species that we're creating. So we're going to be creating the, with these species with the cards that we're playing. And what you can do is you can click on these cards. Oops, there we go. As long as my finger's not moving around, and that will show you the things that are on the card. The green is going to show you how much that that card will feed if it feeds from the reef. The reef is the um, uh, the fish that are in the middle there uh, that you can feed from. So we can go and take those from that 14 spot where it says 14 on the left side um, when we feed those. So there's different ones. There's uh, so we've got that. We've got like the apex predator is not going to be feeding from the reef, but will be attacking other players. And sorry, I'm not holding that up for very long, but it's just kind of just the way that I'm holding my finger on there. So you see on there, the the predator is going to have that red three. That's how much they're going to attack. Um, and let's see, I'm just going to put a filter feeder out there. And now all I do at the beginning of the game, all you're going to do is you're going to play a card and then you will need to feed. Now this one will feed five from the reef. Then I will so move up there and take five fish from the reef. Um, and that's the only fish that I have. Now I have the option of taking a card from the deep. Let me show you what these are. Um, the deep ones are the better cards to take, but when you put those in place, you're going to have to get rid of your um, fish that you have in your bag, which are points. So you're basically giving up points to be able to put those cards into play. Um, right now I'm not going to take any, so I'm going to say no deep. And then I can discard cards in my hand, and I will do that. I'm going to discard the inkling because uh, I've got two of those and see what I can get and then you draw back up to your, uh, your six cards that you're going to have into your hand. They took a deep card um, and that was all they did. Now what they did I, uh, is put, uh, if you notice, that bottom feeder card is what they placed. Um, I can't click on that one, but it has a fish in the top left hand corner of the card and the one that they played is nine, <coughs> excuse me. And when they do that, they're going to take nine fish from uh, one of those other sections and move it over to the main reef. So that's going to allow you to have different cards, um, more fish that you can take. All right, um, let's see. Now I have another, uh, these other fish uh, options that I have. And I can start a new species. Or what I can do is continue on with the one that I have. So with a symbiotic one, gains one after species to the right, forages or attacks. Now, that's going to be helpful for, for me to go ahead and put this one next here and start a new species so that when my uh, species on the right there, whenever it feeds, they'll be able to feed off of that one. And so I will do that. Now, if you notice, you've got that on the your species at the very bottom, you've got all those fish spots at the very bottom that shows that if you um, overfeed, then you're going to have to lose on there, but you're gonna have to overpopulate, except my filter feeder says that I never overpopulate. So I'm not gonna overpopulate by eating too much with that species, uh, which I wouldn't anyway, I wouldn't overpopulate. Um, at the end of after you feed, all of your uh, uh, all of your fish are going to, your species are going to age. Um, so you're going to take a fish off of each of those species and put it into your bag. Again, those are going to be your victory points. I'm going to still pass on the no deep. 
I'll also skip on the discard and just take whatever is available right now. All right, so the Cambrian explosion happens. So once all the fish are out of there, then... There we go. I'm going to be attacked by that one. Um, so once all the fish are out of there, then they, then that spot becomes, this middle spot, becomes available for you to be able to have that special ability. So now this says that um, species get the two attack. Um, now my fish right here, the species right here with the filter feeder, um, I'm not allowed to have any attack on there um, uh, because that's, you know, a, a reef filter uh, feeder. It's going to be feeding from the reef. Now, I need to be able to feed that fish that's on the left. And there, if I use my fish on the right, my species on the right to feed, then they'll get some food. But I don't really need to do that because I think I'm going to waste, uh, be wasteful if I do that. Um, so what I think I'm going to do right now, this will help me in the future maybe, is I'm going to take this tentacle. Um, and what this is going to allow me to do is, let me show you that, it's going to allow me to feed an additional time. Um, now they only feed once. Um, like one fish is all they're going to take. Whoops, there we go. Oh, I didn't mention this. Let me go back and say that. So after they after they feed, they'll be able to feed again. Now, once the Cambrian explosion happens, that also sets off this next part of the game, which means that I'm not just going to be taking one action. I might just be playing one card. I'm actually going to be able to play two cards. And on top of that, I will also be... Um, uh, I'll also be aging two fish from each of my species. And so uh, that's going to change things quite a bit for me. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to do the shark cleaner here. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm just going to be feeding from... Uh, I didn't show what that was. The shark feeder after species, species with three plus um, oh goodness, uh, attacks, I can gain two if it's the closest shark cleaner. Now this one only has a two attack, but if I put the apex predator on there, I will be able to attack for higher. But right now what I'm gonna do is, I probably should have started a new species with that, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna feed twice from the reef. And then I, again, I will age two times instead of just the one that you do at the beginning of the game. Now, I might consider taking a deep card now that um, we're getting you know later into the game. Uh, the one on the left, Blubber, is going to allow me to store nine extra population on the species board. And then the Luminous Bacteria may have one extra trait and may forge from any ocean zone, which actually, that's pretty good. I'm going to take that one. I think that will be helpful. And I'll only need to discard one uh, fish to be able to take that action. Uh, I will skip the discard, and so I'll just draw one back up, which is the speed, and the speed's really good. I like that one as well. I'll show that in just a second. They took their actions. One of their species is going to die out. Neither one of them have any food, which means I'm not able to attack them, which is kind of a stinker. Um, let me show you speed. Speed is going to allow them to have an extra trait, but it also allows them to feed two more or attack. Um, part of me would like to be able to have... Uh, let's see, I'm going to make this one an apex predator. And then... Goodness... That luminous bacteria would be helpful to have on that second species. I really should be forming a, a third species right now, but I'm going to pass on that right now um, in order to help me with uh, making sure that I can feed these fish. So I will, um, when I did that, I did have to pay one of my, goodness. Uh, yeah, so I pay one of my fish and I put it anywhere that I want. I'm just going to put it in that main reef there. Uh, now I have to feed, and uh, now the one on the right will feed from my one on the left when it attacks. Unfortunately, there's nothing to attack, and so what I think I'm going to need to do is just feed with this one. I did not think this through um, because they're only going to gain one food after they eat, and so I did not plan this out very well. Uh, unfortunately. So I'm going to feed from there. They're only going to be able to feed one. One of those is going to age, and so that one's going to um, to die out as well. I did not plan that out very well. Part of it is I'm talking through everything that I'm doing, and so making the, the best decisions is not <laughs> is not what I'm doing right now. So I'm not going to go to the deep. I'm just going to... Uh, I'll keep what I have, too, so I'm going to skip the discard. 
And I'll draw there. Okay. Now they will attack me, unfortunately, and take a lot of food. And they're getting a lot more points than I am right now because only one species to their four that are all feeding, which is not uh, a great thing to do right now. Now I, I need to have something that will attack and I just don't have it right now. So I think what I could do, I guess I could put a speed trait out there. Let's see. Yeah, I'll put a, ooh, no, that's not helpful. That is not helpful. Let me go back and do that. So I've also got the parasite. So if this is before your feeding phase, it leeches two from the species to the right. So I think what I will do is just go ahead and, and put this over here. Um, on the new species, so I'll be able to leech two from my own since they don't have any. You can also, you know, leech from the other characters. It just kind of wraps around. Um, this one, after they attack, but they're not going to attack. So I think I'm just going to put a speed on there so that I can, in the future, be able to start working on attacking up there. Now I'm going to feed with this one, which will allow them to... Um, uh, yeah, so that they would be able to feed as well. So I'm also going to skip the deep again. Skip the discard and go with what I have. Uh, again, not playing super great right now, especially because they have a lot of species going. But they're also going to have some that are going to die off. They're going to have two that are going to... Oh, excuse me, one that's going to die off right now. But they're still getting food from four of those, aging from all four of those. So I'm in a really bad spot right now. Uh, let's see, what do I need to do? <clears throat> I'd like to be able to attack them, but unfortunately, if I'm not able to do that well enough, I've got my transparent, which says that I'm not able to, whoops, let me show you. I'm not able to be attacked as long as there's food in the reef, sorry, I'm not able to hold that down very well. So I'm gonna put that right here, um, since I can put one more trait on there. And then on my next one, schooling um they're gonna age plus one but may, may not be tacked by spe species that has five or more when it has five or more population i think i'm gonna do that on there either um symbiotic is going to allow me to gain yeah we'll do that all right so i will feed from that main reef again i'll only be able to age one from there uh, from the one, and so it'll die. I can't age two of them on there. I'm going to skip the deep again. I'm not playing optimally right now. <laughs> uh, prob I promise I'm not usually this bad, but um, talking through everything that I'm doing and, and doing all this is is probably not the, the smartest thing to do. Uh, one thing that they showed is they were able to attack their own <clears throat> species and able to, um, to be able to help them out. Sometimes you want to attack your own species. Um, now the next thing comes out, so species gain two whenever they evolve a defensive trait. Um, they're going to gain two, uh, two fish. Uh, let's see, I need to, I'm going to have to start a new species. Um, see if I can hold this down better than what I've been doing after a species. Whoops, there we go. After a species with three, I've had this one over. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I promise it's not usually that difficult for me to do it, I'm just not doing it very well. Um, but anyway, you're going to gain from a, a species that uh, attacks on there. So I will... That species that I have is pretty good right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a filter feeder. And then I would like to... I'm just going to take the shark cleaner, I think, and then I'm going to feed with them this time. There we go. So that at least I've got two species going that I can feed for a couple rounds without having to. Well, once they get attacked, they'll have less fish on them. But um, maybe I can make this work. I'm going to take uh, schooling off of there. No, I'll take take my inkling off of there. Inking, excuse me, not inkling. Um, yeah, they got attacked, which means they're going to lose all of their fish on there. Now, I will be able to, with that other species, still feed even without, or age even without feeding them this time. Uh, but I still am going to need to get something going here. Uh, goodness gracious. Mm. I 
I think I'm gonna put this on here for another trait on that one so I'll be able to feed even more and I can't play another one on that one I can play a new species which I really need to but I'm just not digging what I've got out there um, it'd be nice to get that one on there I think that's what I'll do I'll just start a new one over here which doesn't help me yet but I'll be able to feed um, Oh, let me redo that. I wouldn't be able to attack them with what I need. So let me, I need something that's going to be able to fish a lot. Nothing that I have right now. So I could, yeah, I'll just take the speed and put it on here, on here. So it'll be able to attack. Normally, again, if you're playing better, you're, you're able to uh, do a better job of, um, do a better job of, building species so that they can feed off of each other and feed off of the other players and attack the other players. I'm just not in a place where I'm doing that very well. I can play another card right now um, that will allow me to do... Uh, I just don't have a lot of good cards. The cards that I really want right now, I'm afraid. So I can take one of my cards and put it into the reef for more fish to go in there. I think that's what I'll do. Um, take the schooling one to put eight fish in here. Um, here we go. And so then I'll need to feed with this one and not the other one. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I forgot that I did not have any fish on the other one. So that was another poor example of what not to do. Uh, let's see. I'm still going to pass on the deep, but I'm just going to discard several of these that I just don't want right now because I need things that are going to help me feed off of the things that I have going on right now. Um, there we go. So the whale cleaner will allow me to get some fish um, from from the other uh, fish species that I have next to it. So I will, I'm just going to go put, put that there again. I'm a little too late right now what I'm wanting to do. Um... I can put a filter feeder on that one, but that's not really that helpful for me right now. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. The symbiotic one is only gonna allow me to get one whenever that species forages. So that's not gonna be super helpful for me either because I need to get more than that. Uh, this is just a tough thing that I got going on right now. So I think right now, I'm just going to put another one over here on that species. I've got two on there now, and then I'll feed from here. And then when I do that, I'll take some of those fish. So at least I've got these ones going and not much going elsewhere. But it is what it is at this point, I guess. Uh, I'll keep those for now. Those aren't terrible ones that I've got right now. Hoping to be able to get another species going here, but again, I think it's a little bit too, a little bit too late right now. Okay. Um, ooh, this is tricky. So I've got this parasite that I can use to gather um, two from the one that is next to it before the feeding happens which is good to put on this one i guess so that i can i've got some fish on there um unfortunately i would like to be able to start another one so that when i feed my fish on the right it can start feeding from that as well maybe i can put another yeah there we go i'll put another feature on there so that hopefully that'll help me from when the other ones inevitably keep attacking me, I'll have some options to be able to steal, uh, to be able to take some some extra fish from that. Again, I'm gonna do not go to the deep again. Just kind of stick with what I have. This is this is not good playing, by the way. If you're looking for somebody who is gonna do really well at this game, um, apparently it is not me today. I usually do much better at this game, but I am doing very poorly right now with their constant four eight aging fish every round it is to my four this is not uh it's not going so well 
All right, now what do I do? I... Huh. I'll, I'm going to have to start another species right here. And then I will also... That's not good though, because that's I need that other one to feed. Um, yeah, so I'll put a whale cleaner here. So the whale cleaner is going to, let me show you that. After a species of three or more forges, gain three if it's the closest whale cleaner on either side. Um, now thankfully I can't over uh, produce. And so I'll be able to feed all three of those. So if my middle one, I would overpopulate if I didn't have the, um, the filter feeder there. Uh, the filter feeders do not overpopulate. So I've got a little something going right now, but it's a little bit too late. Um, especially because they keep attacking me and there's not much I can do to stop that from being attacked, it seems. Um, now there are cards that allow you to prevent, like, actually I've got one right now. Transparent would allow you to um, prevent damage from happening um, if there are so many... Uh, so many fish if there's fish in the reef um so they'll they'll win um you're gonna they're gonna take the points from they have in the uh, in the bag as well as the the fish that you have on your species and so they'll beat them by 10 and i'll go ahead and say that typically i, I don't usually lose this was just the the second i think it was the easy ai that we were playing on um i can usually beat them pretty handily uh, but apparently this shows that i am not very good at this game especially when playing in front of people watching uh, so anyway, that is Ocean's Light. Um, it's a great way to learn the game. So uh, I hadn't played the game in months. And so I, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I, I rewatched the tutorial to, to learn how to play. And it was su super helpful helping you go through the actions to know exactly what to do. But the game itself is, is pretty simple. Um, you're just going to be playing cards into your species and then feeding and then aging. And that's it. But the the strategy comes in knowing how and when to attack them and also making sure that all your species keep fed so that they can age and not go extinct. And I think it's a really good game. So the, when we did the video review of this, uh, John and I actually, we both gave this one an eight. We both really, really enjoyed this game quite a bit. Uh, I've been playing this app a lot. It wouldn't show today, but I've been playing this app a ton lately. Uh, just because it's so addictive to to try to build up as many species as you can and have the coolest species um, Those deep cards really add a lot to it as well You have to give up fish to get you know to use those deep cards, but at the same time there you they can be so powerful um, Didn't really pan out for me this time, but again, they can be very powerful So anyway, that is Ocean's Light highly recommend especially because this game is free and uh, check out the DLC if it's something you enjoy you'll be able to play uh, with a with a harder AI, you'll be able to play with uh, some added cards in there as well as um, the pass and play feature and probably some other things that I'm missing out on. But highly recommend this one. That is Ocean's Light from North Star Games Digital. If you want to get in touch with us, you can reach us at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. That's at Meepletown Games. You can email us at Meepletown, uh, uh, Meepletown Games at gmail.com or go to our website to find all of our information, just MeepletownGames.com. Uh, you can also reach out to us on our guild at Board Game Geek. That's guild number 3407. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meeple Town Games and connect with us on the Meeple Town Guild, guild number 3407, at boardgamegeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meeple Town.